What's up guys? I figured I would make this video if y'all haven't, if y'all don't know what I do for a living. Um, this is a demonstration of what I do for a living. I'm going to show you guys the before and uh, I might record some of it while I'm doing it. But uh, one of my customers that comes in like all the time, I work on all of his guitars, uh, kind of like his guitar tech guy, um, bring me, he just got this Les Paul Studio right here as you can see we just got this Gibson Les Paul studio and uh, the neat thing is there's a lot of uh, Les Paul studios fake ones going around and one of the ways that you can tell this is a, a real Les Paul studio um, if you're not uh, very savvy of stuff the tuning heads on this are actually they're what comes on the studios is actually these aren't they say Gibson Deluxe on the back they're actually they're not Klusen tuner tuning heads which come on Gibson Les Paul standards they are they're the green as you can see the heads the knobs look green they're green Grovers and this they'll say Gibson Deluxe on the back um, they're made by Grover uh, this gentleman that he sets up his guitars the same way what we're going to do today is i'm going to go ahead and remove the strings clean it all up first and then we're installing the seymour duncan set of nazgul and the sentient humbucker set these are great pickups guys these are some of my favorite passive pickups then we're going to put this is what he goes with he he puts a, a 12 through 56 not even slinky and he's tuned in drop b uh so it's like if he was tuning to what would drop B be? C standard? I think it's A standard. Yeah, A standard drop B. So he'd be his guitar is gonna end up being tuned in A standard, which is oh, I think that's correct. Anyways, I have his tuning uh, chart saved because he comes back a lot so um, I'm not even sure where I have it Let's see. Yeah. drop B tuning yeah uh, yeah the tuning is actually uh, B F sharp B E G sharp C sharp but a lot of tuners that doesn't show up so it's actually b uh g flat b e a flat d flat because uh no i don't know if you know a lot about music a d flat is the same as a c sharp and a flat is the same as a g sharp you know and uh so forth and blah 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 there's no such thing as a sharp only accidental sharps that when you get way into music that's you'll you'll find that out Anyways, like I said, we're putting these pickups on there. I will get back to you guys as it's coming along and take y'all with me to show y'all what I do. One of the signs of... Uh, like a, I don't know, I don't want to say amateur because I've seen some professional guitar players do this. One of the my pet peeves on uh, guitars, um, when somebody strings a guitar, is I don't know if you can see this right here, guys. I don't know if you can see that somebody has tied the string in a knot around the tuning peg. That's a no-no. There doesn't need to be a knot. If you string your guitar properly, there shouldn't be a knot. I'll I'll show you guys what I do when I go to restring this whenever we're all done. Okay, <laughs> back to taking it apart.
Okay guys, I'm gonna show y'all how you can tell that this is a real ass hall. Um, the pots on these, if it's a real one, will say Gibson. I don't know if you can read where it says Gibson on the back of the potentiometer. And they always use the wire, the casing of the wire is always uh, metal braided on the outside. And they always use cloth wires. They never use, if it's a made in the USA, uh, Gibson Les Paul, they will always use the cloth wire. If you can see the wire right here is actually braided cloth surrounding the wire itself. And then the outside wire is a braid of wire. It's not rubberized. Um, as you can see, they did it right there and they shielded. This is the only part that they ever shield is the input jack so it doesn't short out. And you will always see in a, on a real S Paul uh, that they do it this way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set the camera up where you can see me whenever I start soldering. I'm going to move some stuff around and so y'all can see me unsolder the pickups and how you go about doing that. Um, like I said, they will always say Gibson on the back of the potentiometers and they will, the wires will always look like this if it's a made in the USA Les Paul. I have seen some new 2015 models. I think it's it might be the Deluxe series of Les Pauls that have a printed circuit board in there, which is kind of weird. But this is how you can tell if it's a USA Les Paul. It will, like I said, the potentiometers will say Gibson on them. And the wires will not be plastic coated. They will be bare wires around the edges. And the inside wire will be braided cloth around the actual wire. Okay guys, I'm going to cut this these pickups out, cut the tape off of them, open this box up. I always like Seymour Duncan. I have a bunch of, uh, I'll show you guys, ah, you can tell I do this a lot. I have a bunch of pickup cases under here. These are from an EMG and... This is the exact same box as the Duncan's because I have changed out three or four sets of these exact pickups. Um, I have done some black winners, but most of my customers will keep their pickups. Uh, a few of them actually give me their pickups. So I have, I have a pile of Duncan design and I have these came out of an old Ibanez destroyer. You know. I always like it whenever they give me pickups because if a customer comes in and they need a pickup, like a cheap pickup, um, I have them down there. You know, I do them a deal. I sell them like the pickup for like 10 bucks if it's one that isn't a high dollar pickup. Okay, the way this works, guys, is these pickups right here, they're labeled on the back. So like this one says sentient neck position so this is going to go in the neck position they have a little sticker on the back and then this little guy right here will say Nazgul Bridge as you can see say Nazgul Bridge and then these little guys come with new screws and new springs which you're going to want to use because these threads on these screws match the threads on these pickups and the ones that are in the Les Paul are probably going to be either bigger or a different thread. Um, almost always, when you come with the new hardware, always use the new hardware for the new pickups you're putting in. Uh, they do come with all of them. Do this. I have a pile of these under there somewhere underneath my desk somewhere. Um, they always come with a wiring diagram and. The wiring diagram, as you can see, this is for a Gibson Les Paul. It says standard wiring for traditional single conductor humbuckers. Um, let's see. This is for the. For, this is the way that they're going to be wired up for this Les Paul right here. Um, they are four conductor pickups. I don't know if you can see that wiring diagram real good. There are four conductor pickups, which I'll show you right now. So I want to do the bridge first. So here's the bridge pickup. They do wrap them like this, where the wire goes in here and 
pull them out. Um, as you can see, they're what we call four conductor pickups. So there's actually five wires. One's a ground, and four are. It's got four different wires on it. So four conductor pickup. So you can see, um, and I don't know if it's the red and the white that tie together. Red and white tie together, and then you end up using the green and the black. Yeah, green and bear go together, and then red and white go together. So, red and white, these will be tied together. And I'll tell you guys what they're used for when they're not tied together. So, red and white will be attached together, which I'm going to solder in the shrink wrap or tape. Uh... And then green and bear will be together. And then basically the green and the black are going to be. So it ends up, the green ends up being part of your ground wire. And then the black is actually your hot. And then these are off on their own tied together. And the way it works, guys, is uh, they have it labeled on, I mean, when it comes to putting in pickups, if you know how to solder, you should be able to install pickups. EMGs are my favorite because uh, they are solderless design. I don't know if you if you want to check out another channel, check out uh, uh, JP Frog Tech, uh, Josh's channel. He just put an EMG in his little Traveler guitar, and the, my EMGs are my favorite because I charge the same amount to put in EMGs as I do. Uh, humbuckers and I don't have to solder anything on the EMG. Um, I do do deals to my customers like this guy right here. He's getting a complete clean rework, uh, new pickups installed and a new setup for the whole guitar and uh, it's going to be intonated which uh, I probably don't have to do much but since it's tuned in a weird tuning I will have to adjust the tail pieces for, to intonate it. Uh, on this tuna back bridge I'm probably gonna have to adjust these pieces a tiny bit usually they're not too far off whenever the guitar is brand new um, but like I said EMGs are my favorites to install these are great um, it has instructions here for everything guys uh, the reason why it has four piece wire is because you can do push pull con configurations or you can do strange seven position or five position selector switches where you could do, when you have a four conductor pickup, you could do single coil of this, single coil of this. You can do splits where say if you had uh, HSH style, which, was, which is a humbucker, single coil and a humbucker. You could do combinations of this single coil by itself and then put the middle position and you can do a combination of these two, this plus the single coil, or you can do single coil and the other side, or you can do this and that. It's just all a matter of how you wire it. I have seen some crazy ass wiring on some of my customers' guitars, and I have done some crazy ass wiring on some of them. Uh, I have done some reverse phases, like uh, phase switching, where the pickups are in and out of phase with each other, and I have done seven position. Uh, toggle switches or a toggle switch per pickup it all depends on what the customer wants and what you're going for me personally all that mamba jamba doesn't amount to crap if you can't play the guitar so <laughs> anyways guys there's me showing you the pickups i'm going to start unscrewing stuff on this wonderful les paul it's actually a really nice les paul uh all mahogany uh it is a, oh wow, it's an old one. I, I actually, I actually think this is a 2003. I think it's a 2003, guys. It's pretty beat up for being 2003. It looks like somebody played the living hell out of it. Don't blame them. It's a nice guitar. Ah. Okay guys, we get back into it.
Get a closer look. Now that I got that pickup off, I'm gonna give y'all a closer look at the what I was talking about. I don't know if you can tell the wire right there is cloth, and the outside wire is like that. And uh, another way you can tell is uh. Well, sometimes they'll say Gibson on the back, but this says Lead Pro wound by PS blah blah on 1204 2007. So I don't know if these are different pickups that they had put in there, which kind of look like they are, but that's how you can tell real Gibson pickup, it'll be like that. Okay guys, the one confusing thing when it comes to all pickups, grab my flathead down here, got my screwdriver set, what gets really confusing when it comes to these changing out pickups is uh, almost always the pickup retainer screws are flathead uh, no it's like counterintuitive instead of being able to take apart everything just using you know a Phillips screwdriver you do have to use a flathead we're gonna clean this up the pickup ring before I put it on that Nazgul I believe that's what goes in the bridge part but you see it's wax from when they pot the pickups undoing it so it's taking the wax off they coat the pickups in wax to help them keep from corroding so I got the humbucker ring off and we'll stick this pickup over here in the pickup box pop these screws out since we're not reusing them those will be part of part of uh, the old one and now we have the pick up the humbucker ring right here and we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna go ahead and mount this guy yeah this is the bridge this guy and when it comes to uh, if you notice there's an angle on it the angle the top part of the angle always goes to towards the other pickup so this is always towards the bridge the lower part and then the the higher parts always towards the other pickup and as you can see these will look pretty nice in there if they're the same size uh, pickup ring because they'll be all black so I'm going to clean this up and then put this on there and I'll get back to you guys in a minute.
Okay, guys, just like the first one, the one that goes in the neck position has got an angle on it too. And the angle goes towards the center of the guitar. So the, the angle on the neck pickup is going to go facing this way. If you see the guitar. See how this one, the angle went. See how the angle's towards the center of the guitar right there. It's going to be the exact opposite on this side. It's because this is an arch top and that's what they do. It, I don't know, traditionally that's how they've always been. So, Anyways guys, back to work. Okay guys, we got the back plate on and now I'm going to give the guitar a bath since it's wood with this stuff right here. So you can see it where there's a gouge, it kind of takes the gouge out. I don't know if you can see that. But we're going to we're going to give this guy a wipe down, this guitar a wipe down, and then we're going to start restringing it, uh, do the fingerboard and get it all get it all set up and I'm going to go and tighten all the hardware, like this jack up here, the screws look like they're coming out. And we're going to wipe her down, clean her up, she already looks a lot better. Um, like I said, I'm going to treat the fingerboard and I can put up my soldering iron and all that stuff. and. We're just gonna clean her up guys she's pretty dirty so I'll get back to you guys in a second the one thing that I do like to do guys is when I clean up before I start working on the guitar this is the uh, the soldering stuff that was the hard part now I got to clean it up um, check and make sure all the frets are level all that good stuff string her up tune her to the drop C and then intonate it from there guys but what I like to do is take the old pickups and put them in the case. So you can see this is the old pickups that I took out and I put them back in the case. I give these back to my customer. If he says that he doesn't want these, I'll be more than happy to take them off his hand because I get free pickups. Um, and I get a little case that I can stick uh, stuff in. Like I have my screwdrivers in one of these and I have my fretwork stuff um, in another one of these. So I have little boxes that I can grab, ones for like fret work, ones for uh, screwdrivers and Allen wrenches for setups. And then I have one down there that has like input jacks and covers and things. So like I said, that's what I do whenever I'm done with the pickups. And I'm going to swatch, swatch the bat bleh, swap the battery out real quick and then we'll get to uh, cleaning this up the rest of the way and restringing it and I'll get back to y'all guys.
Okay guys, here's the trick I was telling you all about. So you can see, let me pause this so I don't get a copyright strike. You pull the string tight, the first string, and you go the length to the next tuning head and just a little bit underneath it. And then you clip it. Then you put this guy in here, the string winder. And you see how it smashed the end with my clippers where it's flattened? That'll keep the string from not unwinding. So what you're gonna wanna do is you stick it in where it just barely pokes out of the tuning head on the other side. Then go ahead and wind the string up like so. Make sure all the wraps go underneath the, ex the existing one. So first wrap. All the additional wraps have to go underneath that string. And if you do it this way, if you do it this way, guys, the uh, wraps on here will be perfect. They'll all match. So you would cut the string on this side, string it up like I showed you. The next string you're gonna do to that one. This one you're gonna do the headstock. This only works on Les Paul style uh, bodies because the distance is the same from the headstock to in between each tuning head. If you, it works on one sided, but when you get to the top, you have to make sure it's only about an inch that you're pulling out, an inch and a quarter maybe. Anyways guys, that's, that's my tip and the, the wraps will look beautiful on your uh, on your tuning heads. Okay guys, I wanted to show you all this. This is these uh, not even slinkies right here. Come with a 24 plane uh, G string. I want to show you guys how wiry the string is. It is like a piece of wire. Like I don't know what. Like I don't know. It's like a piece of piano wire. And this is the only problem I have with the not even slinkies because I've used these before but I usually change the 24 plane out to a 24 wound and it's because it doesn't vibrate that much as you can see it's it's like a chunk of piano wire guys anyways I'm gonna get back <laughs>
Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and tune it and make my adjustments, and then I'll get back to you whenever I'm done. See you guys in a second. The, the one thing I forgot to mention was another way you can tell it's a Gibson is it will have an actual truss rod uh, nut up there instead of an Allen key. And I know they sell a lot of fancy truss rod wrenches and crap. Uh, nothing beats a deep socket with an extension on a quarter inch drive. I mean, this is way easier to mess with in my opinion than uh, the damn truss rod wrenches that they have. We're going to take a little bit of tension off. And then we're going to check it. And then I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys. We are finished with the setup and stuff. So we got Susan Drop B. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to wipe her all down, clean her all up, and then I will demo the guitar for you, you guys. Let y'all hear the pickups that just put in there, okay? Here's a demo of the pickups that are in this guy. It's a lot more beefy. guys i hope you all enjoyed this video like comment subscribe all that good stuff leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video guys wow.